So far we have spoken about the equilibrium constant of our reactions. And we said that the equilibrium constant K allows us to see how far our reaction proceeded at equilibrium. In other words, it only gives us information about our reaction at equilibrium, when equilibrium is established. Now it would be nice if we could somehow know more information about our reaction or about the progress of our reaction before equilibrium is actually established. And this is exactly what the reaction quotient does. It provides us more information about our reaction before equilibrium is established. Now the reaction quotient Q is also, just like the equilibrium constant K, the ratio of the concentration of products to the concentration of reactants. But unlike our K, Q does not refer to the equilibrium concentration. Now if we look at the following reaction that is not at equilibrium, in which X moles of A react with Y moles of B to form our products C and D, both having Z and W moles respectively. Now, our quotient, our reaction quotient, is the same thing as our equilibrium constant in the sense that it's a ratio. It's the ratio of this guy times the ratio of the, it's the concentration of this guy times the concentration of this guy divided by the concentration of A times the concentration of B. Now, these exponents come from the coefficients x, y, z, and w. Now, if our Q is equal to our K, that means our reaction is already at equilibrium. Now, if Q is greater than K at the beginning of our reaction, that means our reaction is reacting favored. And that's because, let's look at the ratio. If Q is greater than K, that means the concentrations of our product C and D is greater than that at equilibrium, and that means a shift will sh or our equilibrium will shift this way. In other words, these products will tend to convert to reactants, and so our reaction is reactant favored, meaning it's favored this way. Our reverse reaction is favored over our forward reaction. Now, if K is if Q is less than K, <coughs> that means our reaction is product favored. So let's go back to the ratio. So Q being less than K means that our concentration of C and Z, our products, is less than that at equilibrium. And what that means is A and B will tend to react to produce the C and D that is uh, seen at equilibrium. And therefore, our forward reaction will be preferred over the reverse reaction. And so this is called product favor reactions or spontaneous reactions.